Today I'm going to show you how to create a horizontal vintage sunset design in Adobe Illustrator. This is quite a popular merch design which is not as easy to create as the traditional sunsets but once you know how to do it it is quite simple and it works across lots of different niches as well. So jumping into Adobe Illustrator the first thing I'm going to do is hit file, go to document setup and tick the simulate colored paper box and then when you change this color to black hit ok then your artboard has a black background. Next up, you want to select the rectangle tool and deselect the, the stroke color. We only need a white fill in this case. And then you want to draw out some very long and thin rectangles, like so. Leave a bit of space on the right side. You want to duplicate these by all dragging down. Make sure the gap is quite small in between these. And then if you hit Control D, duplicate that so that we have five lines in total. Okay, now that the first step is done, you want to go ahead and select the ellipse tool. If you hit Control Y, you go into the outline mode. It's just a bit easier then to see what you're doing. We want to start drawing circles that all originate from this top right anchor point. I'm just gonna start drawing one so you get, get an idea of what I mean. You left click to drag it out, then you have to hold down Alt to make sure it stays on that anchor point. And if you hold Shift as well, it keeps it as a perfect circle. Drag your cursor down and wait until it hits the bottom anchor point down here and then you release. And basically repeat that process, always starting from that anchor point up there and drag down to the next corner. That's the next one done. Basically you're gonna to want to do that until all of the lines are covered and have their own circle attached to each anchor point. The last thing we need to do is draw another line, selecting the rectangle tool, which should be the width of the space in between each line. So we just draw out here like so, change the color to black with the eyedropper tool, go back to the outline mode, and then we want to place this on top of the very top rectangle. And you want to position it so it covers all the circles except the last one. If you go back out of outline mode, this is what it's going to look like. Now the only thing left to do is combine some of these shapes. So you want to select everything, click Control M on the keyboard or select the Shape Builder tool from over here. And then by dragging, just left clicking and dragging, you can combine to begin with this bottom rectangle with the circle. Let go and do that for each of the lines that we've prepared. And for the top one, just go to the end like so. Now you also need to delete this black bar. To delete it with the shape builder, you have to hold down Alt. Now you can see this little symbol here changes from a plus to a minus. And if you then left drag across, it will delete all of the black from your other shapes. Now what we want to do is just select all of the lines over here and change the color of them to red, just so we can see what's going on better. Now we once again want to select those and lock them by hitting Control 2. And now we can select everything else that's on the artboard and just hit delete. And there you go, you've got your, your shapes ready and set up to be colored in. I'm just gonna grab the color scheme quickly and then get back to you. And there we go, that's the color scheme I've used for this design. You can obviously use your own color schemes as well, but feel free to copy this. And another cool tip is if you want to change the thickness of these lines, you could select everything, go over to Object, Path, offset path and then basically play around with the offset numbers here. If you go into minus, then it makes them thinner. And if you just add say one pixel in my case on, then they've gotten bigger. You might still need to delete the old lines, the thin ones in my case. And if you overlay any shapes onto this, then it's also gonna be easier to make out if your black gaps aren't as big. Now, if you wanted to add text to this design, quite a balanced layout would be to add some text up here, like so, and then um, you could put something down here, like I love surfing, and there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you could learn something new today. Now, if you're still looking for more t-shirt design tutorials, I recommend checking out this video where I show you how to create boho rainbows in Adobe Illustrator.